Hi there, Steve Kaufman. I haven't done a video for a long, long time. Um, I've been busy. I, uh, I was in Russia where I had a ball. I think I mentioned that. I came back. Then um, I went down to California. We had a, um, uh, there was an old timers hockey tournament in Santa Rosa. Went down there for 10 days, uh, sampled the wine in the Sonoma wine country. Lovely part of the world, uh, 26 uh, degrees uh, during the day, uh, 15 degrees in the evening. Uh, drove back, uh, drove down uh, via Mount Shasta, Lake Shasta and so forth. Came back up along the California coast through the Redwood Forests. Visited with a very good school boy uh, friend uh, who lives in Portland. Um, and uh, I've been busy. Now, a major event in my life. Uh, two weeks ago, we introduced uh, what we call beta languages at Link. We introduced four languages, uh, Polish, Dutch, Arabic, and Czech. And uh, we're going to introduce one, uh, one language a month. We call them beta or unsupported languages because we're not going to make any effort to, uh, to find content. We will add dictionaries uh, as people ask for them. But if we encounter special problems, uh, we're not uh, promising to be able to support uh, any specific, uh, you know, or resolve any specific issues that are specific to, uh, to a given language. Uh, so, and with that, I started into Czech. I started, I guess it's about two weeks ago. And I'm having a ball. And it's really the first language that I've started totally from scratch at Link. Because in the case of Russian, uh, before we had Russian at Link, um, I did get started. I had used the Teach Yourself series, the Colloquial series, even bought an Asi Mil, uh, all of this while waiting for Russian to get going at Link. But with, uh, with Czech, I'm basically doing all at Link and it's working very well. I feel that I've made more progress in two weeks than I can remember having made in uh, any of the other languages that I started studying using the established teaching materials. Largely thanks to the work of uh, Yarda Yaroslav from uh, the Czech Republic who has created a ton of content. Unfortunately, uh, all of these things we have to work out the bugs. Uh, I pointed out that the sound quality on some of his material wasn't uh, great. He has uh, been researching, you know, a microphone. He's got audacity. He's improved the sound uh, quality. He's uh, re-recording some of it. It really doesn't matter, but it's fine. Um, of course, uh, in the case of three articles that we have on Link that are, exist in all languages, I'm already familiar with those in English and Russian. So doing them in Czech, I already know what the, what the subject matter is. But there's also a lot of other great stuff there, easy stuff. There's also some more difficult content that's been loaded up by one of our learners from Brazil who's studying Czech. So I kind of vary it with easy stuff, more difficult stuff. Waiting in the wings, I have the good soldier Sveik that I uh, have an audiobook uh, of, but I want to get my level up before I do it. Uh, one thing that makes the whole process very enjoyable is the iPad, because I go on to link uh, I listen, I read, I save words and phrases, I, I link them as we say, and I do that rather quickly. And once that's done on the computer, from then on, I'm operating on my iPad. And so I've got all kinds of lessons here on my, uh, on my iLink app. Uh, I don't know, 30, 40 lessons that I've gone through very quickly. Uh, read them and of course while I'm reading them on the screen the, the meaning of the word flashes up and I can stream the audio so I understand it but when I listen to it again I don't understand it if I'm not reading but all of that I can do on the iPad so I can see all the yellow highlighted words that I've looked up I can listen to the audio so I can sit in a comfortable chair I even have at home an elliptical trainer so I get on the elliptical trainer I plug my uh, you know, e e earphones into the iPad because at this stage in my check, I, without reading along, I don't understand what they're saying half the time. So I'm doing this and saving more words. Every so often I can review my flashcards on the iPad. I can also review them uh, obviously on the computer. Um, next week we already have in what we call our QA server, like not up on production yet, we have text-to-speech for check and Polish and Arabic and Dutch, which we didn't have, that's been added in. 
So when I review my flashcards or when, I, or when I'm reading on the screen, I can click on each word and do a text-to-speech just to help remind me of how that word sounds. And, uh, you know, I go through, I save words and phrases, I review them, I don't worry about what I forget, I haven't looked at a single table yet, I don't want to know what the endings in the different cases, whatever, are. I will get around to doing that. Right now I'm just letting it fly, I'm letting the, the, the sound and the meaning come over, you know, wash through me. Uh, gradually picking up more and more, uh, you know, certain words are starting to sound natural, you know, they use the word vubets all the time, like actually vubets, toye, toye, yedno, or whatever. There's a lot of expressions like that that are starting to start to feel natural. And when I've had enough exposure, then I'll go in and uh, perhaps have a look at some of the grammar. But I have the feeling that in two weeks, I have achieved more in terms of my comprehension, at least while listening and reading, uh, than I had achieved even when I started up with Portuguese and I, I using the teach yourself. So I do believe, even though a lot of people say that uh, it's difficult to start from scratch and link, I'm doing it with Czech and I feel very confident. And in a year from now, I want to go to uh, Prague and also to Prostyov, which is where my parents were born about a hundred years ago literally a hundred years ago, um, and, and use my Czech. Uh, I think the Czech will go faster than the Russian because the Russian helps tremendously in the Czech. I mean, many of the constructions, I feel as if I'm hearing Russian because of the way the language is structured. The vocabulary is surprisingly different. There are a lot of words in Czech that are not related to words in Russian, which really uh, surprised me. Of course, the problem I have with Czech is that between all my other activities, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get better at golf now because my wife is very keen on golf and I, of course got my business to run uh, and I haven't given up on Russian. I take my daily download from Echo Moskvi and I, I do enjoy that because there I totally understand what they're talking about and it's interesting. So I got to squeeze the check in. On the other hand, I, I don't think my goals are as high for check. If I can get conversational in check, uh, that's fine and uh, whatever I've, time I find for it, that'll be fine. Uh, it may eventually start to consume me more than the Russian, but it's still kind of a bit of a backseat to the Russian at this point. But I'm excited. I'm excited at the progress that I've made uh, with, uh, with Czech in just a couple of weeks. And I know that all the fuzziness will gradually start to dissipate and more and more of the language is going to start to, uh, start to feel uh, natural. So thank you, Yarda. And uh, just to let you know that I'm having a ball with my Czech. Thank you for listening. Bye.